All right, why is self-care important in a romantic relationship? Isn't this about connecting to the other and being these beautiful, cheesy lovers and devoted to one another? Yes and no. The core of it is very simple. The way in which we relate to our environment is largely determined by the state in which our nervous system is. Meaning, imagine this, you've been working long hours and you got very little sleep for whatever reason. Maybe you're partying, maybe you're just tired, maybe your partner snores. You had to wake up very early, so you didn't sleep. Uh, you've been eating outside, food with lots of sugar, lots of grease, very processed. Perhaps you've had a couple of difficult situations at work or with your family and you're stressed. You're stressed, you're edging burnout, you're feeling overwhelmed with work, with clients, with projects. And then suddenly you come home and your partner says something and you lose it. Now, ask yourself, are you losing it because they really crossed the line with you? Or are you losing it because your whole system is a mess? For a lot of people that I know, and I include myself in this group, if we haven't slept well, if we haven't had proper food, if we haven't moved and exercised, if uh, work is too overwhelming, it becomes more challenging to, to be loving, to be present. And only when we're present, love is possible. So the point of self-care is not, I'm going to love myself so I can love somebody else because you need to have a full cup before you can, you know, that's cliche. Sure, it illustrates a point, but the point of taking care of ourselves is so that our bodies, our emotions, our minds can be fertile soils where love can easily bloom. And every time that I'm not taking good care of my mind, my body, my heart, every time that I abandoned any of these weeds, insects, a lot of things are coming up into the space. The soil dries up, and when it dries up, nothing can bloom. And we may find ourselves struggling to find love and appreciation for a person that we once felt devotion towards. So self-care is important because it means that you ensure that you're a fertile soil for love to bloom. And you ensure that if there are any tensions, any challenges, are not because of very basic and easy to fix logistical reasons. You ensure that your nervous system is soothed. You ensure that you are in a state of calmness, in a state of presence. And of course, your trauma, your triggers are going to come up. But trauma that comes up in a state that is already overwhelmed, uh, it often just fries the system or it generates extra overwhelm, extra stress, extra tension, which leads to disease. So you want to navigate the complexity that is being in love with somebody else. You better have enough peace of mind. You better be grounded enough to in your center and at home and at peace enough within your body and your heart to, to explore the adventure of being together. But if this is a mess and you go into a place where the darkest sides of you are going to come up to the light, you're in, in a very bad position because you're going to struggle. It's going to be very difficult for you to have healthy conversations without taking it personal. Very difficult to receive constructive criticism. Very difficult not to explode because you're, you're a ticking time bomb. So self-care prevents all of that. It's a preventive measure, a proactive measure that ensures that you create a space where love, peaceful conversations, compassion and understanding can easily bloom. That's why you should take care of yourself and from that place connect to other people. Because otherwise you're bringing to the world and to your loved one not what's the best of you, but whatever is left of you. I hope these are useful. If you have any questions around relationships, creating conscious relationships, long-term partnership, let me know. 
also Arwana year long mastermind around relationships if you're interested send me a message and we can chat about it talk soon